Could this really possibly be the best fire tender ever? Jute twine. Just old jute twine. I've used it for years for cordage. But I also found out along the way that it makes a wonderful tender. You just cut off a section and then you can use your knife. I'm just using scissors here. You cut off some sections like this. Just cut it about inch and a half pieces, something like that. And then look, just give it a twist and unravel it. And then pick it apart. Now, I've got a whole bunch of it, and I'm going to pick it apart, but I'm not going to waste your time on that, so we'll just move on. The truly great thing about this stuff is the fact that you can buy like a hundred or so feet of it, you know, in a little roll, as it were, from Walmart or wherever you buy your supplies from for just a couple of bucks. So look at that. Look at that wonderful, wonderful little bird's nest, if that's what you want to call it. We're going to just lightly compact it like that. And let me get a little, a little vessel over here to ignite it in. And we'll just put a match to it. And I want you to watch this. This is going to blow you away. Would you look at that go? I'm talking about it burns and burns and burns and burns and puts off some kind of heat and will, you know, the more you put in there, the better it's gonna be. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I want you to watch what's happening now. All right, it's already burned up, but in you see the little rings of fire running around the threads this stuff will absolutely burn up until the ash is 100 percent almost nothing got the last few little embers that are going right now and i believe it's fixing to give out the last little ember and there it is it's gone now watch I'm telling you, if you've got a bundle of jute twine in your backpack, and you should have it in your backpack, you will never, ever have to worry about having dry tinder to light a fire with out in the woods. Jute twine, amazing, wonderful tinder that everyone should have.